cross protection so today now we will see what is cross protection and what are all the mechanisms involved in cross protection my name is nh shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anamal university coming to the definition of cross protection so here infection of a susceptible plant with a mild strains or attenuated strains mild strains or attenuated strains in the sense attenuation in the sense severe complete or partial loss of virulence so here the susceptible plant is infected or inoculated with mild strains or inoculated strains that can give protection against uh, more severe strains of the same virus when uh, where is, when systemic infection will occur so that is called cross protection that is called cross protection again one more definition will be that's a natural phenomena whereby tolerance or resistance of a plant to one virus strain is induced by the systemic infection of a second in the sense so if we infect the plant with a mild strains or attenuated strains the resistance is developed and it can protect itself or protect themselves against the severe strains of plant viruses the it simply like we are simply immunizing the plants so that is called cross protection so the phenomena of cross protection were first demonstrated by mckinney in 1929 who observed that tobacco plants are systemically infected with the light green strains of tobacco mosaic virus so initially he demonstrated mckinney demonstrated and uh, he observed that if the plant of tobacco is infected with light green strains or mild strains of tobacco mosaic virus it can give protection against the severe strains of tobacco mosaic virus in later days salamen 1933 demonstrated that an a virulent a virulent strain of potato virus x that is pvx provided the protection against a superficial super infection against the virulent strain of potato virus x in potato he he, he observed that salamen observed that if a virulent strain of potato virus x is inoculated into the potato it can provide the protection against the super infection or protection or super infection against a virulent strain of potato virus x here the simply this entire cross protection mechanism relies on simply so we are purposefully infecting with mild strains that can offer or that can give the resistance against the severe disease of the same strains of plant viruses so this mild strains of tomato so i am giving some of the you know some uh, just outlay or some of the examples i get this cross protection who performed and what are all the uh, cross protection successfully employed so for that i am giving just simply like an morphology or simply outlay like that so this mild strains of tomato mosaic virus are particularly helpful in controlling the infection of severe strains of tomato plants whatever not only in the tomato but also if we are inoculating or if we are infecting with the mild strains not only in tomato but also in tobacco and some other plants it can give or it can offer the resistance against the severe strains so the protection by citrus tristiza virus with the mild strains is also helpful in protecting the citrus crops against the citrus tristiza virus severe strains so the naturally occurring satellite in cucumber mosaic virus cms has been used in the biological control agent to protect the tomato plants against the disease that is induced by the cucumber mosaic virus so this satellite cmv can be used or initially can be used for uh, uh for the cross like you know we are using it like a cross protection mechanism or phenomenon so that it this this act as a uh, you know biological control agent that can prevent against the severe strains of cucumber mosaic virus so coming to uh, web battle 1952 showed that cross protection against phloem limited viruses that is potato leaf roll virus could be achieved by the infection with the aphid vector so we are initially that uh, mild strains of potato leaf roll virus are infecting with aphid vectors and then again see if the severe strains will come in uh, uh, if even though if we inoculate with the uh, severe strains we won't get any uh, much damage or uh, disease on this uh, particular plant that was reported by web so the first demonstration of virus disease control in mild strains was done by an uh, citrus tristiza virus actually the mechanism developed for the citrus tristiza virus sorry, this cross protection mechanism actually developed for tobacco mosaic virus but it is mostly or commercially heavily employed in citrus tristiza virus is very very important they will ask like this cross protection technique was especially or uh, originally developed for tobacco mosaic virus but the cross protection technique is now widely used to control uh, citrus tristiza virus so and then and then also some of the coconut swollen shoot uh, diseases also can be used for the uh, protection of uh, uh, plant viruses or the transmission of uh, in insect vector related uh, plant viruses so various terms or synonyms has been described for this cross protection phenomena so the synonyms include acquired immunity antagonism 
cross immunization induced immunity interference pre immunity protection inoculation these are all the different names of uh, cross protection so even though it has the different names the most widely used names are induced immunity or pre immunity these are all the more major terms uh, used for uh, cross protection so the term cross protection seemed the most appropriate rather than this different types of uh, terminologies or synonyms cross protection is most appropriate or described as the for the suitable for this phenomena for the concerning of a disease control of crops so it is also familiar with the different name that is induced immunity or pre immunity but cross protection is most suitable name for this uh, phenomenon now we will see what are all the mechanisms involved in a cross protection so the mainly there are two mechanisms involved in cross protection the first one is coat protein mediated resistance and then second one is rna mediated resistance or rna interference so these are all the two mechanisms that can uh, provide the uh, you know protection uh, uh, in cross protection so the what are the if they see the uh, how can we say the mode of action or the mechanism that are lying uh, uh, in cross protection that is coat protein mediated resistance and rna interference or rna mediated resistance now we'll see one by one so the first one is coat protein mediated resistance here the coat protein mediated resistance has been shown to be involved in cross protection in between strains of tobacco mosaic virus and cucumber mosaic virus so the tobacco mosaic virus belong to the genus tobacco virus whereas the cucumber mosaic virus genus is cucumo virus here the coat protein mediated resistance in transgenic plants depends upon the expression level of transgene so this entire coat protein mediated resistance mechanism lies on expression of transgene how the transgene is expressing so entirely dependent on expression of transgene of coat protein here the higher level of transgene expression will elicit the better production if the transgene is expressing in the higher level the better it will give the by to allow for the better production against the plant viruses in general coat protein mediated resistance is broken by the high level of challenge of plant viruses so in recent days this coat protein mediated resistance is broken by the high level of plant viruses that becomes a very challenging so the most commonly proposed model for coat protein mediated resistance is based on the prevention of uncoating it simply this coat protein what will do if the, the gene which is present in the plants that coat protein gene uh, coat protein mediated resistance that provide the uh, protection by means of preventing the uncoating so the plant virus can't able to uncoat the protein coat so once it enters into the plant cell it can't able to uncoat the protein coats so which interferes with the translation and replication mechanism or replication process so this is about coat protein mediated resistance entirely dependent on it prevent the uncoating of plant viruses and it also prevent or interferes with the translation and replication process of plant viruses this is about coat protein mediated resistance that uh, how uh, cross protection will work on the second one is rna mediated resistance here the protector virus are the mild strains which are we are already inoculated into uh, plants which are produce the progeny of a positive single stranded rna senses so they are they this positive single stranded rnas which hydrolyzes the first minus strand of rna that can challenge the viruses and thereby blocking the replication and translation mechanism of upcoming viruses this rna mediated resistance mainly focused on the replication and translation mechanism so if we interrupt or if we interfere with the translation mechanism the proteins can't able to formed so that if the proteins can't able to form the mrna can't convert into proteins and and the structural units are the components that is required by the plant virus can't be produced so this is about uh, cross production technique current uses of cross production now we will see how this cross production technique is uh, currently in use and how it is commercially employed now so protection against orchard crops so these are some of the orchard uh, viruses like citrus trichiza virus papaya ring spot virus cucumber mosaic virus duchenne yellow mosaic virus these are all the uh, different types of uh, plant viruses where the cross production technique is against where commercially they employing now we are only going to see two examples of cross production of a major importance so the first one these are the two examples the first one is citrus trichiza virus if you see the various parts of the world citrus is growing very widely in various parts of the world which is a most this citrus trichiza virus is a, which is a most disastrous epidemic disease 
disastrous epidemic disease and widely you know if you see wherever you go the citrus decline will be there all over the world now it, it seems to be the almost a sporadic disease like uh, you know sporadic like disease so the protection of against the graft grafting inoculation in the mild strains of citrus strichia virus can provided or can give the good protection and immunity against the severe strains of plant viruses coming to the papaya ring spot virus the virus is identified almost 30 years ago from now now it's been almost 30 years ago from now it is the most destructive in the papaya worldwide and become the limiting factor for the production so through the cross protection of papaya ring spot virus has been achieved successfully and it is now, now the cross protection technique against papaya ring spot virus has been widely following in thailand taiwan mexico florida hawaii with several different mutated mild strains or flu viruses so this due to this cross protection technique we can found some solution against the different uh, uh, species of different against the different uh, severe plant viruses that can lead to the epidemics so coming to the commercial applications of cross protection now we are commercially applying on citrus strichia virus tobacco mosaic virus and other diseases also include that is coconut swollen root virus papaya ring spot virus passion fruit woodiness avocado sun blotch concave gum and psoriasis of citrus stone and foam fruit diseases of stone and foam uh, fruit diseases of uh, uh, plant viruses so by exploiting or by you know uh, by inoculating with the mild strains or immunizing with the cvs or mild strains of plant viruses of particular uh, uh, in viruses they can develop immunity and they can uh, develop internal immunity to sustain against the severe strains of plant viruses so coming to the limitations of uh, cross production technique so yield loss may be happen sometimes because of a mild strain infection so even though we are infecting with a mild strain sometimes yield may be lost slightly uh, in certain physiological instances so incomplete production and breakdown of production can also be happen because we are infecting with a mild strain it is a, not a complete production it is an incomplete production sometimes what will happen the production can be break down if the we if the viruses are very severe uh, if the virus contains a most powerful virulent agent the breakdown of a production can also be happens so a strain that is mild to one crop that may become severe to another crop let us consider if one strain of plant viruses that we are inoculating may be a mild strains that may become severe strain to another plant viruses so having uh, about uh, having knowledge about uh, uh, you know whether it is a severe uh, whether it become severe to other plant virus other plant species or not and uh, th- so uh, g- gathering the information will also be essential so difficulty in restricting the protector viruses to the threat field because of natural vector so this uh, you know for uh, we can't able to restrict because of natural vectors where it transport from one area to another area that is that's their telling difficulty in uh, restricting the protector virus to the threatening field because of natural viruses this is for, meant for uh, earlier slide so some of the uh, we know well about uh, where the plant viruses can be mainly transmitted by insect vectors so if the insect vectors are uh, having uh, sucking uh, juice or some of the material from the mild strain infected virus and it go and feed on some other plant viruses as i told you the mild strains may be uh, mild for uh, particular plant species that but it might become severe to the another plant species then there is uh, this type of danger also uh, Uh, present in it so unavailability of mild strains of practical use so it is a very difficult to have the unavailability or to you know to find the uh, to have the uh, mild species to perform this cross production technique so synergism and reunion of uh, interactions with other viruses so sometimes synergism or uh, reunion of interactions with other viruses can also be happen so genetic instability of the protector virus become the mutation or recombination so if they have, if it is a mild viruses or you know muta- uh, mild viruses or attenuated viruses may have in genetic instability sometimes what will happen mutations or recombinations will happen inside the plant and it become very severe so thus the the uh, such type of cases also also be there so that i have to take into consideration so these are all the different uh, uh, various limitations of uh, cross production so immunization against the microbial agent so musk melon so these are all the pathogen who discovered these are all uh, different types of pathogen infestations uh, against pathogen infestation disease so this is about uh, you know immunization against of microbial diseases 
So cross production, how a commercial employing, so this slide is about how commercial is employing it, this is a virus, against uh, which child viruses and uh, which hosts and you know, uh, who's, uh, which scientist is involved in working on particular that I will tell you one thing, coconut shoulder and suit virus. So now we are challenging virus, coconut shoulder and suit wild type, crop is cocoa. And then citrus is a virus, citrus is a very severe strain, again it's a uh, severe strain, the crop citrus, so cost and molar are the scientists who are working on it, so this is about cross production.